Success to me means looking around a room of our customers and seeing all of them having a really memorable experience. My name is Peter Levinenko. I'm the Corporate Food and Beverage Director for Lifehouse Hotels. Lifehouse Hotels is a hotel management company started about three years ago. Our mission statement is to provide contextually designed hotels. What that means is, you know, I think one of the beautiful things about boutique hotels are they really allow you to experience sort of the local market and their neighborhoods. And we kind of look to scale that. We're not necessarily targeting a demographic with our hotels. It's more of a psychographic, right? You could be a 20 year old that's kind of an old soul, or you could be someone that's 60, but is still fun loving and, you know, loves to go to rooftop bars and enjoy a cocktail. We consider quite a bit of things when we design our hotels to make sure that it fits within the community. We take a look at demographics in a really thorough way, average ages, household sizes, income levels, and we do a competitive landscape study of concepts that are working. We, we examine the brand of the community itself, followed by the architectural characteristics of the spaces. Little Havana is a really interesting uh, neighborhood, right? In the last 50 years, Little Havana has really become a melting pot of Latin American cultures. Puerto Rican, it's Venezuelan, it's Colombian, it's, you know, Mexican. A lot of young professionals from the rest of Miami are kind of moving in here. Lifehouse finds a way to have each hotel speak to the community. It kind of all starts with the people that it hires, right? So we really look to embody the neighborhoods that we are in with the people that are behind our front desks or the people that are serving our cocktails. I think what really gives our hotels authenticity is the making sure that we stay localized with everything from the vendors we look to work with on the design to the purveyors that we work with in our kitchens. One of the reasons that I was drawn to Lifehouse in the first place is I was really attracted to the idea of disrupting an industry that has always kind of had the same processes growing as fast as we have been. Um, you're a lot more reliant on person-to-person -person interaction and you know, on spending a lot of great quality time with each property. And when you grow that quickly, your time just gets pulled in a lot of different directions. That forces you to rely on strong documentation processes, really great software. And so I think like any startup, you know, I think it scales by developing scalable systems. You hear stories about how some of the big tech companies really monitor a lot of different data points to come to decisions. We do the same. Prior to joining Lifehouse Hotels, my background was actually more as a creative. Um, I was formerly a creative director for a restaurant group. After that, I ran a branding agency. Typically, there's a little bit of a friction between operations and marketing. You know, you get a lot of creative or op marketing ideas that don't really consider operations. And a lot of times operations doesn't consider how important the brand is in delivering its message. Upstairs, you'll see a garden that our, our very own chef tends to. And we just took a look at the menu to make sure that each one of the food dishes has something from the garden as a garnish or within it. And even on the menu, that's something that we speak about. And it's something that we really want to hone in on when we plate the food. You know, previously as an ops person, you kind of maybe roll your eyes at that or you wouldn't really understand the importance. But now I kind of understand that each one of those little touch points creates a big, you know, an overwhelmingly positive experience. A lot of things you don't even notice, you know, it's the smallest selection in sound, lighting, or scent. It's the way the texture of your fork just feels right, but you can't really articulate why. The people that you hire, the food that you serve, the design, you know, really a million and one different touch points. Even sitting here today, you kind of notice like two or three people walk into the lobby and say, wow, it smells really good in here, right? We really look to hit on each one of the senses. So when you walk in, you smell something that establishes that sense of space, right? It's not about the truffle or the gold flakes or the sparklers on your food. We want to make sure that we give them something that they really feel great about when they leave.